Remember what generation I am from. It is the workaholic generation of the 50s. Um, but it is also, uh, I, I think, being part of the, count them on the fingers of one hand, writing community uh, of those days, we all felt we had to help each other. Um, so, and, and so there was a sense of community. See, there's not yeah, as there much was, of a sense of there was a sense of, of community out of, um, I mean, writing in, in the early part of the 60s in Canada. If you go back and look at the University of Toronto Quarterly 1960, which reviewed every book published in Canada in that year, you will find five novels uh, published in English Canada in that year. Wow. And this was small. Uh, so our task was really to create a space, uh, which we did by <laughs> starting publishing companies such as the one that used to employ you. Uh, and, and we did that just by pooling, pooling these tiny bits of money, which you could do at that time. And like your record company, we started a publishing company. Um, so, so that the, the gender thing didn't kick in in that generation until, until later, because the defining thing that you had to struggle against was not being a woman. It was being a Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> well, to and, me, and I, you were I'd in like that to... with the guys. You know, we were all in the Canadian thing together. Yeah. Uh, there were, you know, moments of gender, genderly misbehavior, but, um, <laughs> but, but mostly it, you had a, a, a solidarity with your fellow, with your your small little clutch of fellow poets. You know. <laughs> <laughs>